Hello and welcome to a new video from Vintage Chronicle. Today we will describe the 1978 Dead Star Space Station playset. So let's have a look. The Dead Star Space Station was the very first large playset produced into the Kenner toy line. This playset was available with three colorful imaged side and three sides monochrome printed box. The package contained one instruction sheet, one we really do care flyer, two instrument panel, one label sheet, one catalog, one small cardboard insert, one bag of free foam block for trash, two support wall, two bags of accessories, one laser cannon. First and third floor, second floor, rooftop, trash compactor, one elevator shaft, one large cardboard insert to hold the large playset items. This is how the playset look like once all the pieces are assembly together. The Dead Star is divided in four zones. Grand floor, first, second and third floor. Designed to come apart from the playset, the trash compactor can be filled with trash foam blocks, action figures and trash monster, all ready to get crashed by movable wall. Once trash compactor into place, Action figures can access elevator by using the trash compactor front door. To open elevator, turn the transparent door to add an action figure and lift it up by using the latch and turn to lock elevator into place. At the first floor, you can find a large control room with a trap door to slide action figure into the trash compactor. On the second one, you will find a retracting bridge to recreate the famous bridge scene with Luke and Leia swing above empty space to escape stormtroopers. To escape their pursuer, Luke's hands is tidy up to a plastic rope hauled into the third floor. At the third floor, there is Ben Kenobi busy to unlock Dead Star tractor beam and a stormtrooper ready to shoot X-Wing with a large laser cannon. I hope this review has been an interest to you and feel free to subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching Vintage Chronicle.